Your company's inventory is like cash, losing track of it like letting dollar bills fall out of your wallet. According to a University of Florida study, retailers alone lose some $31 billion annually to inventory shrinkage. Here to run through the numbers and the solutions is president of the Golden Gate chapter of the Association for Operations Management, also known as APEX, Timothy Saliver. Thanks for joining us, Timothy. Hi, Valerie. So that $31 billion annual revenue loss comes down to some $1.7 percent overall. What about for small businesses? Is that percentage about the same? No, small businesses must be larger and in most cases much much higher because they really don't have the resources information or systems to keep track of inventory effectively. One of the things that Apex teaches is that when you put that inventory on the shelf, you really should envision it as being a bundle of cash. Mm -hmm. And so you have in your warehouse all these bundles of cash. Now, if it were real cash, wouldn't you safeguard it? Wouldn't you protect it? Wouldn't you do whatever you could to make sure that nobody could steal it? Some of the big box retailers are now insisting that any vendors who do business with them place RFID tags on all cases and all pallets. Why would that be? In order for them to remain the big discount retailer that they are, mm -hmm. it requires that they get better pricing from their vendors. Sure. Well, if vendors are losing money because they're not managing their inventory, then that means higher costs. So they're really forcing the vendors to be more efficient. So let's talk a little bit about some of the threats to keeping that inventory safe and secure where it should be. What would you say are the top three threats to inventory security? The top three threats are obsolescence, mm -hmm. waste, and theft. Okay, let's go over those, starting with obsolescence. All products have a life cycle, and mm -hmm. at some point, they are no longer valuable to the market. Right. So most companies don't know when that point is. They'll keep the inventory in the warehouse and try to keep selling it, but they at some point have to determine that it no longer is valuable to the market. Mm, and if they're not tracking it, it's very difficult to do. Right. Which leads us to number two, waste. Right? Yes, there's a lot of waste in inventory management. And when you incur a cost such as bringing the inventory in mm -hmm. and storing it on a shelf and keeping it on the shelf for days, weeks, and months, mm. there is waste in, associated with maintaining the inventory. So minimizing the waste is important for small businesses. Okay, and let's talk about theft. How vulnerable are they to theft when they're really not tracking and securing their inventory? That's probably their highest vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And what's key for every business everywhere is mitigating theft, whether it's done by an outside party, mm -hmm. break-ins, or employee theft. And it's a problem that occurs in every warehouse all across America. So there are ways to mitigate that, either through security cameras, greater accountability for the employees, mm -hmm. or having the right systems to track the inventory. Which is a good segue into our next question, because you actually brought a diagram with you of kind of your typical warehouse, right? The way that it's typically set up for a small to mid-sized business. Right. So we'll take a look at that and you can kind of go through that with us and walk us through what some of the sins of the layout are. Well, the key thing is that the driver's lounge is within the area where the products are stored. Uh -huh. And it's bad enough that product is lost on the back of a truck, but when you have outsiders accessing an area where products are stored, it, it's an opportunity for theft. Mm. So you want the driver's lounge to be as close to the shipping and receiving area as much as possible uh -huh. to keep them out of where the product is. And as you go through this, in, a, in other areas, the restroom location, you want the restroom to be as close to where shipping and receiving is because you don't want outsiders in your inventory. That's the other right. thing is that access to the doors, you could store inventory behind here. Right. Hide it. You can right. hide it. Sure, it would be so easy. Right, and the same thing with this other area over here, the dumpster, right yeah. next to an exit. You could just throw product into the dumpster, come back later, and have it stolen. What about shipping and receiving? What's wrong with the docks area? Well, the shipping and receiving area is actually supposed to be an in-out kind of a process where it's a, somewhat like a circle. Sure. So where the staging area is really should be an in, or that is the receiving, and then an area separate for oh, shipping. I see. Okay. 
So really, we would have been smarter here to have a wall of separation between the two areas. Is that a right? A wall of separation, something to protect so that if something comes in, it doesn't immediately leave the warehouse. Which is actually a good segue to my next question, um, the biggie here. People, really most retailers hate this whole process of having to keep inventory. Well, inventory is a part of doing business and I see inventory as being as tedious as doing the accounting. Mm -hmm. You have to have a mindset that inventory is a high priority and also you have to think about inventory as being one of your most important activities in the company. We mentioned at the outset that you're connected with an organization called Apex, which serves mainly small to mid-sized businesses. What is the Apex mission? The Apex mission is to provide education and professional development to small and medium-sized businesses throughout the country. Mm -hmm. And our major goal is to help them become more efficient and mm -hmm. to operate their businesses productively. Okay. For more on Apex, the Association for Operations Management, head to apix.org. Keeping inventory safe and smart. Tim Saliver, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Valerie.